Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's late July, and we are uh, continuing our off-season coverage of uh, college football conferences with Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. Right now, we are looking at the MAC, and we're going to take a look at the uh, MAC West. Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. How are things going at uh, at your website right now? Pete, to be brutally honest with you, we are on our best MLB run of the season. We are yep. on absolute fire. Have not had a losing day in our last nine days. We've been on fire in baseball. Cannot believe college football. We're already covering week one games. Love covering these smaller conferences. Let's just continue success for SPR. We're going to have a great, great 2015 football season. All right. Well, congratulations on all that success. Let's see what you have to tell us about uh, the MAC West. It's an interesting conference, right? Northern Illinois, of course, the uh, perennial MAC power. They did lose a bunch of uh, playmakers, but, you know, they, they're just a team that's used to winning. They do return a lot of talent, and they just uh, refill and rebuild uh, very quickly and easily year in and year out in the MAC. And then Toledo is very interesting. They're strong all over the field except for the offensive line where they have to uh, replace all five starters. Now, maybe all those guys will come in and be, uh, be adequate, be sufficient. But, and if they are, then Toledo is going to be awesome because everywhere else they're super strong. And then uh, Western Michigan has a lot of strong guys on offense. They have some holes to fill on defense. Uh, but if they can plug up those holes and if the offense plays up to expectations, they could steal the MAC West. Uh, what's your take on any of those three teams? Yeah, this is a very top-heavy conference, Pete. you got three really legitimate teams that have an opportunity to contend. And then you've got three teams below that just you know aren't aren't near the caliber that we're talking about at the top. So I think you're going to see a lot of blowouts in this mm -hmm. conference. But my pick and the team I'd like to talk on more is Western Michigan. I think this is going to be a high flying, fast paced offense that's going to put up a shit ton of points. And they've got they're led by Zach Terrell, one of the better quarterbacks in the country. Pete sixth in passer rating last year in the country. He's back and they return a bulk of their offense. This is going to be a really good football team. So do you expect uh, Michigan to be a better bet on their overs or against the spread? I think it's going to be a toss-up. I really do. I think when you play these teams like the bottom barrel of this conference, I think you're going to see some high lines. But a team like Western Michigan that's capable of putting up 40, 50, 60, 70 points in some of these games, overs are probably a good bet. And I think even ATS, they could be a good bet. But I'm more excited to see these two teams score off at the end of the year. Teams like Toledo and Western Michigan, Northern Illinois, Western Michigan. Those are going to be great football games. I could see home field advantage playing part in these. But in the end, I, I, my pick to win this conference is Western Michigan. This would be a really good football team. All right, and then how do you approach a team like Toledo? You know, this is a tough one. They have so many positives, right? They have a super strong defense this year. Uh, a lot of guys coming back, and they're stacked. They have that guy Kareem Hunt, who might be one of the best running backs in the nation. They have two quarterbacks. Uh, one's a transfer from Alabama. Both of them have proven that they can uh, be great and, and, and lead this offense explosively. The, the, the issue is just that they go from having one of the, one of the uh, most experienced offensive lines in the country last year to one of the least experienced this year, replacing all five starters. Is it wait and see with Toledo? How do you approach it? Yeah, Toledo's going to be a really interesting team, Pete. Led the, led the conference 256 yards a game on the running attack. Does that mean that they're a good bet for under because they run the ball so much and they do have a good defense? That will remain unseen. And like you said, Pete, they returned Kareem Hunter, one of the best backs, if not the best back in this conference. It will be interesting to see behind a new offensive line. You know, their, their offensive line coach has been outstanding. They did have a pretty darn good re recruiting class. We'll see what happens. But I think it's going to be a good bet this year. Toledo will be a good football team. All right, and then how do you handicap Northern Illinois? You know, they don't look on paper like they have one of the best Northern Illinois teams ever, but they look like they're as excellent as ever year in there and year out. They just tend to be the elite of the MAC and a team that you don't really want to bet against in uh, in any situation. They are, uh, you know, co-favored with uh, with Toledo to win the MAC West. What's your take on Northern Illinois? They're going to be right there as well. This is a team, obviously, they're never in rebuilding mode. They just keep bringing in new guys. This is a team now that can out recruit just about anybody in this conference. Given the success that they've had over the last four or five years, this is a really, really good football team, and I expect them to be riding the hunt. They're balanced, good defense, good offense, great coaching staff. They'll be riding the hunt again. It's, like I said, three-team race with this conference. Okay, and now let's move on to the dregs. Ball State, Central Michigan, and Eastern Michigan. Eastern Michigan might just be a team, uh, you know, last year they were a team that I tended to look for overs with because their offense 
could be effective at times. They actually have a quarterback who, who was able to breathe some life into their offense. He's going to be back. He's a dual threat. He might be able to do it again. And they just have one of these defenses that's just undersized. It just can't stop people. So I think uh, I'm going to be looking towards overs again with Eastern Michigan. Do you have anything to say about any of those three teams, the dregs of the MAC West? Yeah, that's exactly what they are. And I would probably lean overs as well because, like you said, Pete, these type of teams can't match up physically with the upper echelon of this conference. They're going to be a lot of points. But like you said, they still have some dynamic players offensively where I do think they can get 14, 20, 30 points a game, but they're going to be giving up 40, 50, 60 points a game. That's why they're going to be at the bottom of these conferences. So I would lean overs with these teams. All right. So to sum up, uh, what would your be your, uh, your your summary for the Mac West? What's your primary lean? Primary lean, I'm going to go with this Western Michigan football team, mm -hmm. Pete. They have one of the best recruiting classes in this conference, so they're bringing in some good new blood to go along with the veteran team, to go along with potentially the best quarterback and Zach Terrell in this conference, a dual-thread quarterback, the guy can throw, the guy can run. Like I said, sixth best passer rating in the country last year. This is going to be a team that scores a lot of points. Look for the Broncos to be a good bet ATS and a good bet on the over this year. And a good bet with their team total overs as well, right, Troy? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Troy West, allplayswin.com. Thanks so much.